All right, Jimmy, so what's wicked, wild, and wonderful, and has been going on for the past 25 years? Why, would it happen to be the Sea Witch Festival? Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Sea Witch Festival, and it's happening this weekend in Rehoboth Beach. And Del Marble Life, Sean Stryker joins us now from Rehoboth, where the festivities are already underway. Sean? Yeah, Jimmy, things got started this morning, and I couldn't be more excited. I've been hearing about this festival for at least a couple months now. I'm here with Carol Everhart, who's the president of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, now, Carol, you started this festival 25 years ago, uh, so it's a quarter century old. you got to be excited. Oh, I'm thrilled. I can't believe we've come through 25 years. This beautiful weather that we're going to have, mm -hmm. it, it just couldn't be better. I couldn't be happier. And there's just a multitude of events for people to take advantage of. Yeah, and now I'm new to the area, mm -hmm. relatively new. And like I said, I've heard about this, but I still don't know exactly what it is. Can you explain it to me? Well, this is a three day event. It kicks off today. There's events throughout the day and into this evening. Mm -hmm. And the major events throughout the rest of the week are, of course, a costume parade tomorrow, which is at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, is the dog parade, which is also popular, which runs down this boardwalk, and that's at three o'clock on Sunday. So there's there's so much going on. There's broom tossing contest. There's a sea witch hunt. There's entertainment on the bandstand. There's a Lucy and Desi show uh, in convention hall. There are literally over a hundred activities to choose from. And uh. Us on Del Marva Life, we love our pets, and there's a, a pet costume contest. Tell me about that. There is. It will begin down at the Henlopen Hotel at the end of this boardwalk. It will proceed all the way to Laurel Street, come up First Street, and back to the boardwalk. It's a mile and a half, and it's that long because we have over 400 pets in that wow. parade. Wow. And now we have actually, it's it's a special surprise. Um, we didn't know he was going to be out here, but this is Norman the Scooter Dog. Norman rides a scooter. Check him out. He was just practicing when we came out here today. He does an awesome, awesome job. Let's look. Everyone's gathering to watch Norman. Uh, he'll be out here all weekend if you want to check him out uh, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Hey, there you go. Everybody giving Norman a round of, of applause. Now, Carol, tell everybody the details. So it starts today. When does it run till? It, it will run until 8 o'clock this evening. There's still activities through 8 o'clock, whether it's at the Y or the Spook Trail. There's just a multitude. Go to that website is what they want to do. Yeah, and then there's off-site parking and there's satellite campuses. Right. There are five satellite parking areas. Uh -huh. uh, Tower Road Park, uh, Indian River Park. Uh, so if you're coming in from the Ocean City uh -huh. area that way, if you're coming in from the north, uh, the Dark Park and Ride, as well as Epworth Church and the Little League Field. Well, you know, we can't cover it all. There's so much going on. So to find out more about it, all you got to do is visit our website, WBOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Now, Lisa, you and I will be out here uh, at the parade tomorrow, as well as some other w WBOC employees. So for everybody at home, when you see us walking by, I want you to make a lot of noise. I want you to <laughs> let us hear you. I'll Absolutely. Send it back to you guys. I'm looking forward to your first time, and I hope Norman's there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I how, am so how impressed. many times have we watched Norman on YouTube, the scooter dog? <laughs> exactly. It's incredible that he's there. <laughs> well, while showcasing all the animals, of course, that's a lot of fun. Okay. So is the connection that we make with our local musicians. Up next, hear the sounds of Delmarvin native and international performer Nate Clendenin. Plus, we're going to introduce you to the piano guys and tell you why using interesting instruments in faraway places is about more than just capturing your attention. Delmarva Live will be back in two minutes.